We are going to do the following. If you can look up here, please, to the agenda, we have a warm up. Number two, we have a bingo game on literary words. The literary words are up here. Number three, we have a small group pre listening discussion. Number four, we have a brief video clip we'll watch. Number five, we have an audio. The title of our tale today is How Chameleon Became a Teacher. Number six, we are going to do an oral retell. Number seven, you will wind up writing your own story. Yes, it's not difficult. And as usual, I put up the agenda in a writing form, and I'm going to read it, and we'll all read it once. We have lots of activities to do today. We'll read it once, and then we continue. So I'm going to read it first. Good morning, students. Today, we'll start off the class with a game, bingo. We will do a game on literary terms. After that, we will do a small group discussion, pre-reading skills. We will thereafter watch a short video clip. Next comes the audio of the folk tale we would read. Happy learning. Let's read it just once, just for you know, oral practice. Everybody, are you ready? Yeah. yeah. OK. Good, Good morning, morning, students. students. Today, we will start off the class with a game, bingo. We will do a game on literary terms. After that, we will do a small group discussion, pre-reading skills. We will thereafter watch a short video clip. Next comes the audio of the folk tale we would read. Happy learning. OK, great. And happy learning, indeed, it is today. Because as you can see, we have lots of varied, exciting activities. And before I continue, it will be important if we sit next to our work group. You know, I keep changing the work groups, you know, partners. I keep changing them. OK, group one, Ashton and Abby, I hope you're sitting close to each other. If you're not, quickly do that. Group two, Emanuela and Leroy, please sit close to each other. Group three, Edward and Elizabeth Giassi. Uh, number four, Cecilia and Felix. Felix is not here today. Felix, OK, so I'm going to team you with another group. Um, number five, group five, Melody and Alex. Group six, uh, Elizabeth, Nath, and James. So um, James, you, yeah, probably it will, be, it will be better if you sit, go to the lady, yeah. Sure. OK. So let's sit in that order. OK, good. So what we are going to do is I will start off first of all by giving you your warm up. We'll start off first of all by doing a warm up. And I'm going to give you your warm up sheets. After that, we will, you will quickly, when you're done with your warm up, quickly fill out the bingo chart with the words I have up here. OK, these are the literary words we've done, you know, in our previous classes. In any order you want to have it in. And we are going to play a bingo game briefly before we continue. This one you're doing individually, not in groups. This warm up. What's your question here? Um, Cecilia. Have, I don't have a group. You can put me in a group. Okay, you're very right. So I'm going to team you with another group. Okay. Um, let me see. Hmm? Yeah, I will put you probably. Yeah. Join, uh, if you don't mind, you want to join Abby and. Uh, and Ashton? Yeah. yeah, sure. OK, that's fast. Does everybody have this? Yeah. OK, then the bingo, I'm going to quickly give out this. Start filling them out. Since you're done first, I'll give. Who 
Oops, I'm sorry. Because five is not here, right? Is it five? Yeah. Six. You finished? Okay. Oh, the paper. Yeah, sure. The bingo. Finish in any order. Okay. If you're done with your, if you're done with your warm-up hand, raise your hand. I'll collect the warm-up. You didn't know? Yes, a new one. A new one? Oh, okay. Just this. Does it really matter? You want to cancel out maybe what you've done because you're going to. You done with your warm-up? Yeah. Okay, you done? Good. You done with the warm up? Okay, you're doing Did you give me your warm-up? Yeah. Did you give me your warm-up? You didn't take it. Okay. Are we done with the... Okay, some people are done. You need to fill out every little box in the bingo card. Okay. I think almost everybody is done now, right? Okay, we'll first of all go through the warm up, okay? And read out what I have in the warm up, the question. The four elements of literature. Sorry. Okay, the, f the four elements of literature. Um, who knows the first element? Edward. Plot. Pardon? Plot. Plot. Okay, he said plot. Okay, that's one of them. Who knows another one? Um, Cecilia? Um, character. Character. Okay, character. Okay, the next one, uh, Ashton? Theme. Theme. Okay. Theme. Okay. The other one. Setting. Setting. Okay. So what you need to do, you should quickly check. I switched papers. Okay. Quickly check your neighbor's uh, papers, and uh, for each one they have correct, you put, you give them two. Okay. Two points for one question. So the total is eight. If they got everything correct, it's eight over eight. Okay. And then put the paper on one side. I'll come and collect them. You want to pass yours down this way, probably? OK, pass this down, OK? I'll collect them. OK, thank you. The next thing we will do is the bingo. We're going to do the bingo. So are we ready? Yeah. This is a competition. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm sure. 
Yeah. You can, are? Mr. Biden. I am excited. Mr. Biden. Yeah. Can I go to my group now? Yeah, sure. Go to your group. Yeah, sure. You excited? Okay, good. That's the one. Okay, great. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do for the bingo, let me explain it one more time. I gave you this paper, and I told you I gave you a list of literary words, and I told you to fill them out at random, whichever way you want. And how we are going to play this game, which you've played several times before, is that I'm going to call out the words at random. And when I call out the word, you check it out in your bingo sheet. When I'm done calling it out, I'm going to ask for the meaning of the literary word. That's when I expect you, if you know it, to raise your hand and tell us the definition. If you don't get it, we go to the next group. If they don't get it, we go to another group. We're going to go in that order. We've done it before. And at the end of it, when you score a bingo, all you need to do is to raise your hand and say, bingo. We want to know the first group that will score the bingo. OK? OK, so I'm going to start with the first. You're in which group? No. Group. No. Emmanuel and, and OK. Two. You're in group two. OK, so group two. First word I'm choosing is comedy. Everybody, remember to check off comedy in your bingo sheet. And then if you know the meaning, OK? Or you know what? Why don't we do it? Group one, group two, group three. OK? So it will be orderly. Yeah, I think that's better. So group one. Sorry, group two. I group have one, a yeah. suggestion. Um, like, one. what if you say the word and if you know you put your hands up, then you call on the person that's in the group? And OK, I, I would have done that. But you know, it wouldn't be fair in the sense that, you know, some, yeah, I want to make sure that I give every, every group a chance, yeah. So that's why I want to do it that way. Thanks for your suggestion, though. OK, so group one, you want to, the meaning of a comedy group one. Group one is Ashton and Abby. OK, Ashton. And you too, and Cecilia, yeah. Comedy is a, is a, funny, is a story that is funny. That is funny? Yeah. Do we agree? There are books. Do we agree that it's, it's, it's a story that is funny where people make, you know, oh, say funny things, that. jokes and stuff? OK, that's good. So group one has scored one. Very good. Great. Group two, I'm picking another word. Biography. Group two, what's the meaning of biography? And group two, Emanuela and Leroy, two of you. When uh, you write some, uh, a story about somebody. When you write a story about somebody? Yes. What type of story do you like write the, about that person? The life story. The life story. The life story of another person. So it's a true story, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. The real life story of another person. That's good for group two. Wonderful. OK, group three. Let me pick another one. Fiction. Make sure this is a group work. You don't need to answer individually. I want to see you collaborating. OK? You need to talk with your partner. Share with your partner, what do you think the meaning of this word is, OK? And when you agree, you know, that's when you answer, OK? So group three, what is the meaning of fiction? And group three, we have Edward and Elizabeth Piercy. Oh, fiction is a story that is not real. OK, a story that is not real, OK? A made-up story. OK, fantastic. Look at that. That's wonderful. OK, group four. Yeah, group five. OK, group four. OK, because uh, Felix didn't come in today. So OK. So group five, <coughs> the next word is uh, plot. What's the meaning of plot, group five? Plot, sequences. Talk first before you give the answer. Sequences or other yeah. or event in a story. OK, the sequence of events in a story. The order the story happened, OK? That's what it is, OK? Great. We go to group six, Elizabeth and James. The other word is there. Uh, what's the meaning of, OK, let me say poetry, meaning of poetry. 
poetry. Poetry. Poetry. Um, it's, a poem. Yeah, it's a poem. Um, it's like a poem. A poem. And poem. How is it? I'm reading. In, in a in a stanza. In, yeah. stanza, in a stanza, great. And it's written also in, in verse. In verse, great. Okay. That is good. And you know that the opposite of verse is what? Remember, poetry is written in verse, whereas novels are written in a P word. Prose. Prose. Thank you, Edward. Prose. Great. Prose. Okay? That's good. Okay. Keep checking the words when you score a bingo. Let me know. Okay? Another word, we go back again to, we're going back again to group one, Ashton and Abby. The next word I have up there is theme. You know the meaning of the, okay. Um, Did you talk? Yeah. The main idea in a story. Okay. The main idea in a story. The main idea in the story. That's what it is. Okay, that's group one again. Okay, group two. No bingo yet? Almost. My goodness, almost. We are getting there. Okay, character. Bingo. Character. Bingo, right? Bingo? Yeah. Oh, my goodness, you've, you've gotten a bingo. Great. Bingo. Two groups, one a bingo. Okay, great. So, Ooh. what group again? Group two got the bingo. And what other group? Group three? Group bingo. One. Oh, group one, sorry. Group one got group a bingo. One got a bingo. Okay. And group three. <laughs> and group two, sorry, got a bingo. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's great. So, finally, the meaning of character. We go to the other group. Next group. That's your turn. Yes. Yeah. Edward and Elizabeth. The main, the main person in the story is all about or the person in the story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Character is about the main person in the story. Is, that, uh, is, is it the main not, person? Uh, no. uh, uh, or uh, uh, who the story is about. He's talking about? Yeah, who the story is basically talking about all... Uh, Have you given up so we go to group? No, we haven't given up yet. Like, huh? We I mean, is that is uh, the main the okay, the person who is in the story. Who is still is talking about? The person who the story is about. No, who is still is talking about? Who the story is talking about? Yeah. Is it just a person or no, it could be animals too. Animal. Or people. Yeah. Yeah. You might have only one character or you might have more. Okay. The people who the story is all about. Okay, that's very good. That's group two, right? No. Group three. Group three. Okay, group three. Okay, that's very good. You know what? There are no winners, there are no losers. Why do I say that? Because everybody put in their best. And because, as you see up there, we have lots of activities to do. I think we will stop here with the bingo. Put away your bingo sheets away. Remember to learn these words. The SOL is coming up next week, okay? So let's go to the next thing, which is small group pre-listening discussion. And as you can see, if you look up there, you will see that I put down the different topics you need to discuss in your group. Within two minutes, see whether you can list a few items you think. OK? Um, let me start off by reading it out, because probably you might not be able to see that from where you're sitting. Group one, which is Ashton and Abby, you want to copy it down what your question is? Th times you were tricked or betrayed how you felt. So you want to quickly, Cecilia, you're part of that group too. You want to quickly write it down. That's for group one. Times you were tricked, betrayed, and how you felt when those things happened to you. So the three of you, you need to talk, discuss it, and come up with a few points, OK? Um, group two, which is Emanuela and Leroy, your topic is, do you trust people? Why? Or why not? Why do you trust people? Or why don't you trust them? We go to group three. Edward. Edward and Elizabeth Giasi. What you know about crocodiles? Yeah, what you know about crocodiles. OK, group four. OK, uh, Felix is not here. So we go to group five. 
Melody and Alex, what do you know about reptiles? What you know about reptiles? Okay. Then finally, group six, Elizabeth, Nat, and James. How, how do you know a real friend? How do you know? What are the things that a real friend does that makes you know that person is a real friend? So quietly start discussing and jot it down. I'll give you about two, two minutes to talk to share that in class. If you have any question, you raise your hand. I'll come to your rescue. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Animal with your hand. Any question? Animal like snake. Your country. Animal with backbone. Mm -hmm. For example. Snake. For example. Snake. Snakes. Snakes. I have a this one laser. Hmm? Laser. Lisa, Lisa, yeah. what do you think? Yeah. Okay, then right. Mm -hmm. No smoking. Always helping when you have problems. When help you when you have problems. They help you out when you have problems. What does the training actually mm -hmm. the middle of the time? Talking about animals. Yeah, like if you got a problem, you mm -hmm. don't talk about You trust someone and the person who mm -hmm. can. The person yeah, the person didn't live up to the like expectation. Failed you. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's a good, it's a good life example. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It, ha it happens. It happens yeah. in everyday life. Yeah, it happens, it happens in everyday day. life. Yeah. 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 See? So that's a, so good. That's a good example. <laughs> yeah. And then yeah. which don't ways? Trust, don't trust. You don't trust. No, everybody. Yeah. And yeah. which ways were you betrayed? By like like your friend. Yes. Okay. Yes. And other things too. Yes. Okay. Yes. I think you're on the right track. Yeah. I got a good one. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like when, like you know, some people, some people when they when when people are people are leaving. Okay. Then you should be winding up Everybody now. is leaving. You are living with your because friend, for are, example. And then your friend said, you said you want to go to a party, up. and then he said he, he, will, he will bore you the club or something. Yeah, bore you. Yeah, and, and then you, 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 you depend on him. You have all. Time can for the party. Your friend leave you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one too. Okay, we should wind up now so we can discuss, so we can share. We share it before we continue. Because some of the things we are discussing, some of the things we are discussing are related to the story we are going to read, okay? Okay, so are we ready to share now? Yeah. Great. Group one. Okay, now the sharing is for everyone. So when we start the sharing, I want everyone to be attentive. Number one, Ashton and Abby, read out your Why question. Oh, and Cecilia, I'm oh, sorry. You know, Cecilia I already you. grouped people. Like, I'm sorry. Okay. You know, I grouped you. <laughs> so Cecilia, um, Abby, and Ashton. Our question was, time you was trick or betray how you felt. Okay. Uh, I think like when when someone get, got betrayed or tricked, it will not it will not be it will, it will feel sad because like because you put your your, your trust and then you you because you believe in the person and then you get disappointed. I think that one is not nice. You feel bad. Yeah, like okay. I will give example. That's good. Uh, like example, like you trust yeah. someone, right? And the person was like, "Can I get this thing?" And the person said, "Okay, came another next day and get it, right?" Mm -hmm. And you came, the person didn't give it to you. Oh, okay. So, oh, my gosh. I mean, that, that, that can be mm -hmm. shattering, right? Mm -hmm. The person rather not 
to make a promise they can keep. Cecilia, do we have any other yeah. probably life example of yeah, when like, someone is betrayed? For example, it's a happy in our today world often because uh -huh. sometimes it's happy rarely in a relationship. Oh, okay. People trust the married man and mm -hmm. boyfriend. Uh -huh. And when you love, they start cheating. Oh you know, yeah. and they already yeah. pull it, like they already pull trust uh -huh. on you that I would never cheat or uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. that's a betrayal. Right that's there. a betrayal, yeah. betrayal to the wife, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and it could be vice versa. Be yeah, My both. goodness, some people have been watching some soap operas here. <laughs> okay, good, that's good. So we now have an idea of what betrayal means, right? Because we will meet that in the story we are going to read. Group two, thank you so much. Oh, great, very good. Yeah, they did a good job. Okay, group two, Emanuela and Lero. You want to read out your question for us? My oh, yeah. question is, do you trust people why or why not? Okay. There, there are many types of people in this world. Some of them can be trustful and some can be not. Mm -hmm. Before saying a secret to a person, you have to know the person very well. A trustful person keeps what you say to him to himself. If you tell your secret to a, not a trustful person, the person will go all around the world spreading your secrets. That is why I'm saying that some can be trusted and some can be not. Okay. That's good, isn't that? Oh, yeah. You know, it happened. It's like backstabbing, right? Yeah. Okay. What is your uh, opinion on that? Yes. Also, Do you hold the same view as your partner? Yeah, I hold the same view of her. You want to add? Or? And I want to add on it. Oh, okay. Like... Yes, I do trust people because people trust me and also like my friends and family. Mm -hmm. And when you are in trouble, they give you uh, right advice not to go, it's great not to go. And beyond jail and beyond the iron bars, like to go in jail and all those stuff. Mm -hmm. So I do trust people because they are there when I'm in trouble. Oh, okay. You, you're saying, in essence, that you have trustful friends, yes. people who give you good advice, yes. but are all friends to be trusted? No. Do all of them mean well sometimes? Uh, I don't know about the other friends, but... Yeah, but you're saying friends, that's yours, yeah. yeah for yeah, my that's friends, are all, they are always trusted. Okay, that's good. That's very good. I want to ask one question here. Alex, for instance, if you have a friend and the friend says, you know what, I don't feel like coming to class today, let's cut the class. And that's your friend. He always tells you this truth. And then this time around he says, okay, you know what, Let's go to the bathroom or let's sneak out of the school. Will you do what he says because he's your friend? No. No, why not? I mean, all depends on what's going on, why he want to escape class and stuff. All depends on what's happening. Okay. So it depends. So you, you wouldn't skip because? I ain't going to skip class because he want me to skip class. I skip class when I feel like skipping <laughs> class. <laughs> I don't, I don't listen to what people say. I do what I want to do. Okay, you do. <laughs> okay, I mean, what Alex is saying here in essence is that he has a backbone. What do, we, what do you mean when you say that someone has a backbone? Right you up. know, without this backbone, you can't sit up. Very good. So if, uh, oh, you remember my word, jellyfish. jellyfish. The one, he's, he's saying he's not a jellyfish, right? That he has... You know, uh, he stands by whatever he believes in. He wouldn't do something merely because his friend told him to. And equally, he takes decision for himself. And I'm sure that he will not cut classes, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Okay, thank you so much. We now go to the next group. Group uh, three, Edward and Elizabeth. You want to read out your question? You say, what do you know about crocodile? And we were like, they live in the water and swamp. Mm -hmm. okay. They are ugly animals. They have. They are what? They are ugly animals. Ugly animals. Ugly animals. <laughs> <laughs> ugly animals. Okay. They have many long tail. I mean, long, long teeth. Long tail. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Sure. And sharp too. Mm -hmm. They also. They also have a rough body. A rough body. Yeah. Yeah. You're very right. Very they, good. They have, have, uh-huh, you're not done. Sure. They have big um, tails at the end of their back. back. Oh, okay. That's very good. How many of you have seen crocodiles before? Yes. Either in pictures or... Oh, many of you. They eat human too. They eat human... Oh, you're right. Yeah, because they are... 
cannibals, right? They are cannibals. Okay, that's right. They eat meat. Okay, they eat meat. Okay, very good. Let's clap for for them too. They did a good job. Yes. Sure. Sometimes some people say in in like crocodile tears or something. Oh, crocodile tears. Yes. Okay, you know. <laughs> Just like out smile when somebody out smiles you, right? Uh huh. They said when they do crocodile tears. <laughs> I, I do understand what you're trying to say. Have people ever heard of crocodile tears? Someone yes. shed it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, they ask you, you try to cry. Like you try to pretend. 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 Pretending like you're, you're pretending like, 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 you're like you're crying. crying. You're crying, but you're not crying. You're just crying. Yeah. crying. Yeah. Yeah. Stop <laughs> crying. Like Shedding crocodile, crocodile tears. tears. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, and, and I think, why, why do they say that? Why do they use the crocodile, for instance? Because, you know, it devours lots of animals. You know, it does. You know, it's a carnivore. You know, a carnivore, it, it eats lots of animals. And, you know, when it, when, when it eats all these animals and um, pretends, like you will see in this story, I don't want to give it out, so let me stop here. Because the story we are going to read, there's a crocodile in it and th there's another, you know, animal in it. So we go to the next group, okay? Group uh, five. We are skipping four because uh, Felix is not here. Group five, you want to tell us... Um, a little bit. Sure. Give us your question first. Um, our question is, what what do you know about Lecter? Okay, what do you know about reptiles? Yeah. Oh, Lecter, there are many kinds of reptile. Mm -hmm. Sorry, there are many kinds of reptile. Mm -hmm. Some live in water, some live in the bush. Mm -hmm. And so reptiles are big animals mm -hmm. with backbone. Most of the animals use their backbone mm -hmm. to do a lot of things. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, mm -hmm. reptiles are like snake. Mm -hmm. And snake eat um bite people. Of course. So big snake eat people. Let me put it like yeah, that. Yeah, cobras. Mm -hmm. yeah. Giant ones with big mouth. <laughs> and they crawl on the in the grass because they and don't stuff. have yeah good. they don't have no backbone. Raptors are animal. They, nah, they do have backbone though. Mm -hmm. Lizard. Yeah, lizard. Lizard is an example. Very good. That's very good. That's very 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 good. Let's clap for them. That's good. Okay, finally group six. Elizabeth, Nath, and James, you want to read out your question? Okay. Um, our question was, how do you know a real friend? Mm -hmm. There are many ways to know a real friend. However, the most important ones are telling you to do the right things, getting to know your family, helping you when you have problems, telling you, talking to you about anything, and telling you the truth. OK, good points. James, you have anything to add or deduct? You? Like when they help you in your problem, like if you if you got a problem and then you're going to tell your friend mm -hmm. and she's and she going to tell you the right thing, like what to do mm -hmm. to, to solve the problem and stuff. Okay, good. You, you mean someone, you know, that lends ears, you know, listens to you, you can confide in and other things. And there are many good friends, you know. Okay, thank you so much for sharing. That was good. Thank you so much. OK, we will go to the next thing very briefly, which is, um, if you see there, I'm going to show you an overhead. OK. Because we are going to talk about, the story is about some reptile. How many of you know what this is? Yes. Come, 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 come here. Change skin, right? OK, I'd rather. I want to see hands up. Hands up, hands up, hands up. OK, James, because I haven't, you know, heard from James before. What do you think this is? It's like an animal that changes skin so, to so many colors. Yeah. That's very good. That's very good. It changes. The colors keep changing. Uh -huh. OK, um, I'll I, come to you. I think the name it. is Guan or something. Is what? Yeah. Is yeah. what? You already said? Guan. Iguana. 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 No. Iguana. That's the name I'm trying to figure Iguana. out the name. Iguana. Okay, that's the name in your language. No. Is that what it is? Iguana. Iguana. Iguana is right. Iguana. Iguana. No, what are you trying to say? You want to try to say the name. Okay, when everybody is talking, nobody is talking. I'd rather see hands up. 
What do you have to say? Uh, in, in like in Africa, they call it guana. Yes. Oh, okay, guana great. Yes. In Africa. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. Now they they change the name in guana. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Is that what you think it is? Okay, but in, in 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 your in your in your in your language, they call it guana. Okay, now in English, what is it called? Who knows? Yes. Ashton. Come in. Thank you. Come here. Clap for him. Very good. That's chameleon. Yes, okay. and then it's changed, like, it adapts to the environment, wherever, like, if he's, if he's, if he's among green grass, it will change uh -huh. to green grass. To green, yes. And then we are in yeah, purple, it yeah. change to purple, like, it adapts oh, to the like environment. Okay, great. Clothes, and again, I have a question. Let's listen. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. 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 How does that really happen? Because, what, how does it happen? Because like when I was back there in my mm -hmm. country, yeah. me and my grandma went on the farm. We uh -huh. see that animal and yeah. my, my grandma had a butterfly, yeah. lapra. Yeah. And the thing changes to yeah. so the yeah. color of the lapra. Huh? Yeah. yeah, you know, when I will give you some literature on, on the chameleon, because I went to the internet and I pulled it out, okay. and they explained why it changes colors. And they said that it does not actually change colors that what happens is that reflection from light and sometimes there's, there's a stimulus, sometimes when it's, um, it's agitated, when it's frightened, like that time it saw your mommy. So certain changes occur that give out that reflection of its environment, okay? So I have some literature, you know, we will read, we, uh, you know, we will uh, we'll share that later if time permits. Okay, we've seen this, this is one of the characters we will see in the story we are going to read, okay? Now I'm going to show you another character that we will see, okay, in this video clip, okay? Because the rivers, the tail of their mothers, their feet of their runners, their skin is an iron hull, and when they move, they strike like a light. A fully grown crocodile can lie submerged for well over an hour waiting for prey. When they make a kill, they can't chew, so they have to twist and literally tear the meat off the carcass. Vicious, deadly, certain. Is that Africa? But these killer jaws can also gently cradle a baby. Crocodilians are one of the few reptiles that look after their young, and with protection like this, they can freely tear snatch a baby from the jaws of the baby. In fact, it's the jaws that show the difference between a crocodile and an alligator. An alligator has a more rounded snout, and its front teeth stick out. Alligators are smaller, too, and are only found in China and America. They were mistakenly named after the Spanish word for lizard. El Lagarto. Their appetites are smaller too. Unlike the largest crocodile, the saltwater, which will eat almost anything. A two-ton giant named Sweetheart tried to eat more than 20 outboard motors. The people in Papua New Guinea believe the crocodile is the creator of all things. Young men okay. are swallowed up and regurgitated as adults. Okay, so let me stop here, if you don't mind, because I just wanted you to see that, you know, the clip of the crocodile. Because today, the title of the story we are going to read is How Chameleon Became a Teacher, and that's the chameleon. Okay? Do you have a question? Like, you know, a crocodile and alligator, they look alike, right? And alligator, they look like yeah, very, what is very the difference? There's a difference. One has a sharp mouth. Mm -hmm. The other one, the mouth is kind of more rounded. Okay? So, if you notice that, and I think it's the crocodile that has a pointed mouth. Mm -hmm. The alligator, that his wow. is a little bit rounded. Let me show you. Okay, one thing I want you to know is that with this story we are reading, somebody said, is a crocodile the same as an alligator? A crocodile is not an alligator, okay? 
It's not, not an alligator, okay? And a chameleon, is chameleon the same as the lizard no. that we see running around in Africa in the sun? No. no, but it belongs to that family, okay? It belongs, but not a lizard, okay? And both the crocodile and chameleon, they belong to a class of animals called reptiles. Thank you so much, reptiles, okay? Why am I explaining some of these things is to support the biology class you are taking. Okay, we are supposed to do that. We are supposed to bring up some content when we teach to support the mainstream classes you're taking. Okay, now that I've given you that, what I'm going to do, you have a question? Somebody at the door? Okay, so what we are going to do is we are going to read this. I'm going to play an audio. Okay? I'm going to play an audio of this. And as we've done before, all I want you to do is to turn to page. Page. Uh, that's the first story there. Page. Page one. That's page one. How Chameleon became a teacher. And as I play this, you will read silently along with the narrator, okay? So that's what we're going to do. And again, briefly before I, I show that, I want you to know that the story we are reading is, is it drama, novel? Folktale. Folktale, thank you so much, folktale, okay? It's folktale, okay? Just to see whether we still remember, the word folk means what? People. Old people. people. <laughs> when you talk of old folk, that's when it means. The word tale, Alex? Story. Story. So, folk tale is what? Story, Story of a people. That people pass from generation. one generation. Very good. From one generation to the other. And you know that this is a subdivision of, remember the genres of literature? Fiction and non-fiction, right? If we still remember, you do? Yeah. Good. And some of the subdivisions are what? Short story. Short story. You have novels. Okay. This is part of it. Okay. Drama. Okay. Poetry and others. So folktale is a subdivision of fiction. fiction. All right. So let's get to the story. Are you ready? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Come, come and hear my story. Come, so that you and I will fly on the wings of memory back to the years of my childhood. How Chameleon Became a Teacher A Tale from Benin Once upon a time, Crocodile and Chameleon were friends. Crocodile was very fond of sunbathing. He loved to come out of the water and to lie on the sand in bright sunshine. And whenever Crocodile came out of the water, Chameleon would come out of the bush and climb up a tree nearby. Soon, they would be talking happily and laughing loudly. Sometimes, they would lie very close to each other, whispering, shaking their heads and nodding. They were always deep in thought and discussion. Crocodile and Chameleon were very good friends. One day, Crocodile invited Chameleon to dinner. Come to my house at the bottom of the lake, he said, and my family will give you a delicious meal. We'll have fun together afterwards. When you see me ride to the surface, jump into the lake, 
and I will take you to my house. They agreed on a day and a time. Comedian thanks Crocodile for his kindness and they said goodbye to each other. On the day they had agreed to meet, Chameleon went to the shore of the lake carrying a stick. While Chameleon waited, Crocodile gathered his wife and children together in their house at the bottom of the lake. He said, Rejoice, rejoice! My friend Chameleon is coming to see us. He will be our special meal. I cannot tell you what the delicacy will be. Chameleon meat is so tasty. <laughs> Crocodile then went out to meet his friend. There was a great splashing on the surface of the lake as he came to the shore. His gigantic mouth was wide open. To test his friend, Chameleon threw his stick into the water. <laughs> Believing that Chameleon had dived into the lake, Crocodile rushed forward and closed his enormous mouth over the stick. Chameleon was shaking, trembling in terror. His heart was racing furiously. Chameleon fled from the shore and quickly climbed the closest tree. Then, blending in with the color of the leaves, he cried, What would have happened to me if I had not thrown my stick into the lake to test my friend? Thank goodness I did not jump into the lake to meet Crocodile. I would have ended up in the bottom of his stomach instead of as a guest at his house at the bottom of the lake. Take note, take note, oh world. Caution is the mother of safety. And so it was that Chameleon became a teacher of prudence and wisdom. He walks very slowly and carefully. He thinks long and hard before putting a foot forward. And he takes on the local color <coughs> wherever he happens to be. Okay, that was interesting. That's very, very good. Um, most of these folk tales are told to teach a lesson. You know, I mentioned that earlier, you know, um, in our previous classes. Or sometimes they tell them to explain how certain things came to be the way they are. For instance, the chameleon. What are they explaining here about the chameleon? Ashton. How chameleon and crocodile, and they, they were friends first, and then now they were not friends. Uh, okay, but what of chameleon's mannerisms? And then chameleon, it's, it's characteristic. Because chameleon is so soft, he walks slowly all mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. That was the reason he, he started to walk in slow since the time. Okay, definitely. So this story, they're trying to explain why chameleon walks very slowly. Okay? Always looking around because he doesn't want to be... Yeah. Kill to be killed, you yeah. know, the way the, the crocodile did, yeah. and why it changes its color. Yeah. But is this story true? Yeah. No, that's not how it is. And that's why we say it's fiction, that folk tell is fiction. Okay, we are going to do some oral retell now of the story we read. Okay? You want to put that story in your own mouth? Does someone want to come out and briefly tell us about the story? Or probably in your chair if you want to do it. Briefly, about two minutes. Let's see whether you understood the story. Celia, you want to do that? Okay. About um, two minutes. Yeah, the story started when Crocodile and Camille became best friends. They used to be together, play, have fun, talk, and have a discussion. Mm -hmm. And one day, Crocodile was trying to invite Camille mm -hmm. to come and visit him. Mm -hmm. So, that's it. What happened? Someone in your group wants to add something. What yeah. happened? So, when 
in Kokolai told the communion to go and visit him. Kokolai mm -hmm. went and told his family that don't worry, everything will be okay because there will be a nice meal. <laughs> Be a nice meal. Yeah, be a nice meal and nice taste meal. the nice sweet meal. sauce for us today. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and and so, uh, Kokoda was waiting for Kaminon. Then Kaminon mm -hmm. decided to go and see his friend because they already planned their best friend. Mm -hmm. I don't think Kaminon was even thinking of what Kokoda Kokoda would do that to him because they were friends. Mm -hmm. But he decided to test him to test Kokoda first. If Kokoda is a really good friend to him, mm -hmm. by throwing the stick in, at the lake, when he throw the stick at the lake, the Kokoda rush, he think that Camille has already jumped into the, in the <laughs> water. <laughs> he wanted a delicious meal. Yes, yeah. and then so, but and and then he he realized that Kokoda was not a good friend to to him, mm -hmm. so he decided not to go to not to go to Kokoda, and then he blessed God for God when God saved his life. Exactly. Amen. Thank you so much. That's it. That's it. That's it. Thank you. So we understand the story, right? We've retold it in our own words because later we will be required to answer questions that come after the story, which I Xeroxed, okay, and gave you. But before we do that, I want us to hear. Yeah. I have something to say. Okay. okay. Like, this story here, um, Comeria think before he went, okay? Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes people do not think before they do stuff. They Definitely. just go Definitely. ahead and do mm -hmm. thing. And then at the end, mm -hmm. they begin a loser. Okay. So if Comeria was not going to think, yeah. He would have been, he would have been there, but in not. a big pot of soup. That's very good. That, that's, very, that's equally right. Yeah. And I'll tell you a story about uh, Adigator thought he was smart. Mm-hmm. Because he tried to Broke fake it. his friends. Mm -hmm. all, all his friends thought they were like best friends, but where Adigato was thinking on mm -hmm. eating his friends mm -hmm. and stuff. So he thought he was smart trying to trick his friend to come mm -hmm. over to mm -hmm. visit him and stuff so he can eat his friends. Uh -huh. So you see what a friend can do to a friend? Yeah, that's why We're, people talk about trusting people. You don't just trust people like that. Uh -huh. You got to know the person really good before you trust you, the person. Before you trust the person. Okay. So that's good. You see how a friend can betray someone. Edward has something to say. Is this story is basically based on how you know who a real friend is. Mm -hmm. Because if uh, Ali Kedda was a real friend, he wasn't going to open his mouth. For uh, <laughs> his uh, friend to come in his mouth, he wasn't gonna open his mouth. He was probably gonna let his friend jump on his back, yeah. and then they go on the water. But uh, probably they play, yeah. Huh? yeah. But then he opened his mouth wide, yeah. and then the other guy was thinking that this guy ain't opened his mouth wide as uh -huh. a friend, he, he as an enemy. Sure. He was yeah. thinking he's enemy to him. Yeah, okay. And that's why he fell. Yeah, that that that's correct. That that's very very correct. You know, he didn't mean well. He was an enemy in disguise. That's what he was. Ashton, you want, you want to yes. say something? Yeah, I think all the time he was like going out of the water and then like on the sun. Mm -hmm. He was just trying to find a way to like for 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 Camino to know that he has a best friend. To gain his confidence. Yes. Yeah, to gain his confidence. He was just trying to find a way how to dominate mm -hmm. Camino so he would have it like as a tasty soup. Yeah. So he wouldn't be suspicious when he, you know. He does something. And finally, on this, yeah. Also, this story is like sometimes, you know, how when you get your friend, mm -hmm. you have trust, you think the person like you, but your best friend have bad intention mm -hmm. for you, but you yeah. don't know. Yeah. Every time y'all come alive, you're talking yeah. and stuff, you don't yeah. know what is in their mind, in their mind for yeah. you. Yeah. So you need to be careful. But, 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 yeah, definitely people need to be careful. You know, people need to be careful. But um, it's, uh, it's a pity that that people can do that type of thing, you know. But actually, is this life, it, it does happen. It happens sometimes. Sometimes you have good friends. Sometimes you have jealous friends. Sometimes you have wicked friends. So we better be careful. I want us to look up here. I put up something here, a character study. And it says who did what, when, where, why. The title and the author. Remember, I said that anytime we read a story, all right? We should write down the name of the story we read. You know, keep keeping a record of what you've been reading. So the title of this story is what? How Kemenian became a teacher. And of course, the, the, the narrators are the two people, eh? Raph, Mama, and uh, Mary. Mary Romney. And then you're going to fill out who did, did to what, when, where, why. These are most of the time people in journalism, you know, people uh, studying uh, these newspaper reporters. 
when you read any story, they usually try to answer some of these questions. Okay, you can't tell us that a crime happened and you don't tell us where it happened or why it happened. Equally, in the story we read, who did what? Okay, who, who did what? What did that person do? Did what? Okay, when? When did he do it? Okay, where? Meaning the where is what? Yes. Setting. Oh my gosh, I love that word. Thank you. Good, good. Where is the setting? And why? Reasons behind his action. Okay? So, you quickly jot it down. Okay, and when you're done with it, let me tell you something I want to do. Because eventually I will want you to write your folktale. But some people will be saying... Is it possible for me to make up a folk tale? Yes, you can. You must have listened to lots of them from your grandmother and your parents and stuff back home. And to encourage you, okay, to tell yours, I will tell mine. The difference is that mine will be oral and yours will be written because I want us to practice all the English skills, the oral, writing, speaking, and everything before this class is over, all right? So you will do the writing. And that writing of your own folktale is individual work. Okay? So quickly answer these questions. We'll discuss it briefly. I will tell my own folktale. You, you need paper? I have some. I can give you some. You have? I do have. Oh, Yeah, I do have. What's your question? Are we going to do this in work or individual? Uh, this one is individual. This one is just very simple. This is individual. Yeah. And again, if we have time, I have some construction paper where you can draw your crocodile and your chameleon and color them in. If time permits. Are we writing the story first or trying to... No, you're answering that. Who did what? Okay. Yeah. Like, like who did what? Is that we have to put both of the, the, the two friends' names? Say who did and to whom it, you know, it, it was done to. Okay? Who did this? I think that will be the best thing because do you understand it? No. Who did? You just can't say who did without saying the person a particular action was done to. So mention the character that did something. Okay, and to the character he did some, that something to. Who? Can you give an example? I'll give you an example. Uh, what story did we read that is similar to that? We read um, how the, yeah, in Pearls of Wisdom, we read how that time they took a decision on the chicken and the chicken wasn't there, remember? The chicken was absent. Okay, why hawk preys on chicks? Remember that story? We read that, you know, some weeks ago. Okay, who did what? You know, in that story. Who wants I mean, who who uh, a baby animal it will be feeding on? So who, okay. Hawk, thank you. Who did he eventually decide to start eating? Oh. The chicken. So the hawk decided to start preying on the chicken. Then, you know, okay. All right? A question, my person? Sure. Or you can grab one of mine. Okay. Okay, we should be done. <clears throat> Who did what? Yeah. When? Where? And why? Okay? It's just brief, brief answers that, you know. <clears throat> okay. You want us to, you know, just share that briefly? 
Yeah, okay, because these are just brief, brief answers, uh, the things I want here. Okay, I want everybody to look up, please. Look up. Okay, the first thing I have there, this is a character study of the story, How Chameleon Became a Teacher. And we are asking who, the question who, who wants to tell us who was the main person we are talking about in the story. Okay, let me see whether I can find someone who has not really talked today. Melody. Crocodile and Chameleon. Okay, Crocodile was the who. Another person was the chameleon. That was the person he did something to. Okay, did what? Who else wants to? Elizabeth. Yeah. Huh? You want to say something, Elizabeth? Oh. Um, Crocodile wanted to eat um, Camilla. Yeah. Yeah, he, he wanted to. Uh -huh. For dinner, and he was. Um, he lied to him to come over um, for dinner, but. Um, Camilla didn't know that Crocodile was a bad friend to eat him. So at the time, he, um, Camilla was going for the um, dinner. He tried. He tested um, <coughs> and he threw the stick. So, and when he found out that um, Crocodile was a bad friend, he left. Okay, so he didn't know that coming for dinner means that he will be the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Come for dinner, friend. He didn't know that he will be the dinner. Okay, that's great. When? Who else wants to? I want to hear everybody's voice today before the class is over. Leroy. Uh, when they were best friends. Eh? When? When? when, when Meaning, when did this happen? Manuel. Eh? The, the appointment day. The appointment day. But wh when? The appointment day. Okay. I, 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 I think she's right because actually they didn't give a date when it happened. Or does someone have something else to say about it? Before dinner. Yeah, just before dinner. Okay. He's trying to make it very specific. Okay. Just before dinner. You're right. You're very right. Okay. Just before dinner. Okay. Where? Where? I want to hear someone else's voice. Elizabeth, yes, I want to hear from you now. At the bottom of the um, at the lake. bottom of the lake. Thank you so much. At the bottom of the lake. and and where is the same as the setting, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why did they do it? Why? Why did did Chameleon do anything? No. Who started it all? Crocodile. Why did he do it, James? Because because the crocodile wanted some food for him and his family to eat. Okay, that was part of it. But again, because he was? Hungry. Uh, Edward. Hungry. Hungry. Apart from being hungry, he was? He was, not a bad, he was not a good friend. He was not a good friend. He was mean. Right? He was very mean. I mean, if you're hungry, what did he use for dinner at other periods? Because he was mean. Okay, that's very good. So now, we are done with that. You have the questions you will answer, which you have here in that handout I gave you. But I'm going to tell my folk tale now. Are you ready for me? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I'm not, I'm not going to sing go away, away, money, rabbit. I'm going to start off my the way we tell it back home. Okay? And you know, it's usually told when? In the night. When the, the sun has gone down and the moon is out, right? So if you don't mind, you want me to turn this off? Yes. yes. So this is our makeshift moon. And you're going to listen to me now. So back home, you know, each culture is different. But back home from where I come from, Nigeria, the Igbo tribe, we start it off by saying stories, stories, and you answer story. Right? When I say once upon a time, you say, it, oh, fan fantastic. Okay. Story, stories. 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 Once upon a, a time, 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 time. My people, you wouldn't believe what I saw when I made a long, long journey to the land of Idu and Oba. Don't ask me where it is because it is the animal kingdom. I visited the animal <laughs> kingdom, and when I got there, there was a big drought. That means rain was little, 
the plants we are dying, the animals we are hungry. What do you think they did, my people? You know what they did? They decided to hold a meeting so they don't die off like all the dinosaurs. The birds called their meeting first. When they came together, Tertius decided to come. He wasn't a bird though, but he said he would be there. The birds knew the Tertius as a trickster. So when he arrived at the venue, they were all suspicious. They said, Tertius, what are you doing here? You're not a bird. Tertius said, don't worry, my friends. You know why I'm here? I am your friend. I'm just here to give you an advice as to how you can survive in these hard times. Is everybody listening to me? Because the story is for you. Then what happened? Tertius told them, if you go up to the sky, there is a very generous king who lives there. He gives people lots of food and wine to drink. So if you go there, you will have lots to eat today. The birds say, really? He said, I'm right. So they say, okay, we'll go. Tertius told them, hold it, my friends. I've given you an advice. Do you mind if I come with you as a good friend? They all looked at each other and say, Tertius, this, this is a trickster. We don't want him to come. But somehow some of them say, you know what? Let's give him a chance. After all, he helped us. So they said, okay, you can come. Before they left again, he said, hold it, friends. I don't have any wing. How do I get to the sky? So they said, he said, if you don't mind, can you please give me one feather each from your body. You know birds are covered with feathers, right? Each said, oh, no problem. One will pull out a feather and give it to the tortoise. The other did the same. In the end, tortoise has lots of feathers. Tortoise now got a glue and stuck all the feathers on its body. Then they took off on their journey and they got there. Immediately they got there, what did the tortoise do? Tortoise called a brief meeting of all the birds. He said, birds, let me tell you, you don't know how to behave in foreign lands. I will tell you, I'm a professional. You know what? Now we are here, we need a title. Each person should take a name by which he will be greeted. So all the birds say, really, is that it? Tortoise said, you know I'm widely traveled. I know the customs. So they said, okay, so they each took a name. What did the tortoise do? You know what the name that the tortoise took for itself? He said, my name is all of you. <laughs> all of you. <laughs> so they say, really? Yeah. Some of them say, you know, tortoise is weird. So don't mind all of you. I mean, wh what a weird name. So tortoise took the name. All of a sudden, the king appeared, ordered his servants to bring out food, assorted types of dishes and laid it elaborately on the table. Then the bird said, okay, let's now go and eat. The church said, hold it, birds, hold it. Let's find out from the king who this food is for. So the church said, he stood up, cleared his throat, greeted the king, bowed and said, excuse me, your majesty, who is this food for? The king looked at him and said, of course, it is for all of you. <laughs> Then the birds got up, they wanted to eat. Tertius told them, hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> Did you hear the king? He said the food is for all of you. That's me. And my name is all of you. <laughs> so the food is for me. The birds were angry. The tortoise sat down and ate up all the food. At the end of it, the king said, okay, well, now it's time for drinks. So he called his servants, they brought out assorted drinks, and they laid it on the table. And before the bird, the bird said, at least let's have something to drink, to quench our thirst. Back, you know, we haven't eaten even, you know, let's have this. Tartus got up and said, hold it, birds. Let's find out from the king who all these things are meant for. So the king said, of course, it's for all of you. Tartus said, birds, I told you, all of you, that's me, that's my name. 
He sat down, drank up all the wine. His stomach was bulging from all sides. <laughs> and at the end, they were about to leave. The birds decided to play a fast one. They held a brief meeting excluding the turkeys. When they came back, each bird came and said, I want my feather back. <laughs> so each went and plucked its feather from the turkeys. So the last bird to come, and anyone, uh, when anyone takes his, he goes, greets the king, and says, okay, thank you so much for hosting us. He flies back to the earth. So the last bird to come for its feather was the parrot. You know, parrot talks too much, you know. So the uh, turkeys called the parrot and said, parrot, we've been friends for such a long time. We've been friends. Don't forget our childhood <laughs> days and stuff. You want to do me a favor? I'll give you back your feather. But when you get to the earth, go tell my wife to bring out all the soft things from the house and lay them outside because I will eventually tumble up the sky to fall back to the earth because I don't have any wings to fly with anymore. Okay, so I can land on those soft things so I don't break up my body. Parrot said, don't worry, my friend, I'll do that for you. <laughs> Took his feathers, flew back to the earth. Immediately he came there, he went to Tortoise's wife and said, your husband gave me a message for you. You know what he told the wife? He said, your husband said, bring out all the hard stuff <laughs> from your house. All the desks, machetes. I mean, you name it, all the hard objects, laid them outside. The, the tortoise's wife said, oh my gosh, I know that my husband is weird, but I mean, this is about the weirdest thing I've ever heard him say. So she went and laid all those things out, and then the tortoise now jumped. Uh, the tortoise looked from the sky and saw the wife laying out stuff because it was a long distance away. He couldn't make out the stuff she was laying, so he was very happy. He said, now... Aha, uh -huh. parrot, my friend, he gave my message. When he saw the wife move out from the side, he now jumped up and started falling and falling and falling and tumbling and rolling till finally, bang, he landed on all the hard stuff. And guess what? He landed on its back. What happened? Its back was shattered to pieces. He was in pain. He was groaning. He called the wife. The wife ran out of the house. Say, what happened? He said, you know what you did to me? Why didn't you bring out the soft stuff, the, the soft things? The wife said, well, the parents told me that you wanted the hard stuff. Oh, the turkeys was so mad. Then he said, told the wife, you know what? Go get me some glue and come and put me back together again. So the wife went and got glue, got bits and pieces of its shell and tried to stick them together. And that is why, up till today, the turtle has cracks ah. on its back. Oh. Ah. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, I saw all these things in the animal kingdom, and I decided to come back here to share my story with you. I'm done. Thank you. Can I share a riddle? A riddle? Nah. You want to share a riddle? Want, yeah, a riddle. Right. Or, or a folk tale? I have for sure. Okay, just give a riddle, but we're not doing riddles. Just share a riddle, then we, we, it, we're talking of folk tales, okay? In my story. Oh, riddle, riddle. Riddle. Yeah. Which one of the country have the pen? Has the what? The pen. Japan? Japan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I take a bow. I take a bow. I got it. Huh? Riddle, riddle. Riddle, okay. One oh. more. That's the last riddle. We are talking of folk tales here. That's the last riddle. What, what goes up and never comes down? Your age. Oh. Hey. Your age. No, your age. Yeah. Your age, okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, thank you. Okay, what happens here? What do I want us to do? Just a second now. What I want us to do is that it's quarter past 12 now. We have how many more minutes before 15 this class? Minutes. Well, 15, less than 15, about 15. I want you now to silently, individually, think of your folk tale. 
Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, we, we, we've done the listening, the speaking, the, you know, we've done all of these things. We now want to do the writing. Mine is fun. fun. And we've had lots of support now, the individual work we've done. We now want to put it into practice. Let's create. I want to see what you can create. We've read a folktale. I have on my own told you my own folktale. I'm sure you'll be able to put something down. Some people will say, I don't know a folktale. Make it up. Make it up. Try. I just want to see you try. It's a comedy, Is it hard for yes. you to do? Yeah. Okay, if you think it's hard, hands up. If you think it's hard. Okay, if you think it's, uh, it's easy, like, you know, soup you can lick up with it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to give you an option. Okay, you either do that or compare and contrast the crocodile to the chameleon. You do the <laughs> Okay, okay, so why don't we now try to do it? Remember when we are writing, remember the five paragraph writing we do, we practiced in class, right? Introduction the body, and the conclusion, right? Remember the transition words. Look at the side of the board. Some of them are there. If you look up in the morning message I wrote here, I use some transition words. Thereafter, next, after, you know, I use some of them. Yes, instead. Okay? I use some transition words in the brief message I wrote there. I have some on the board. Okay? Remember the five paragraphs. Just try, first of all, brainstorm. Try to brainstorm. For the folk yeah, team. If we don't finish it, you go home with it, use it as homework. You mustn't finish it in 15 minutes. All right? But start planning. I will go around to help you. Start planning. Let me take a look at you. No. Other people are writing so they can think. If you need help, I need my third eye. I need my glasses. You can do it. Come on, you've done bigger things before. Another, another, thing, another thing is this, so, sorry to interrupt you. You know, I gave you the handout how Chameleon became a teacher, okay? That is that story we read, which we are supposed to answer questions on. In fact, that's why I didn't discuss that story much, because I don't want to give out the answers, okay? So we have that, and we also have this writing. So I don't expect you to finish the writing in class. But I want to see you try. If you have any questions you ask, I can probably give you some ideas or, you know, on how to develop or uh, expand what you've written. But also remember that you're going to take this home to answer the questions. It's pretty straightforward, the chameleon you know, story. Okay, any question? I'll come to them. I'll come to you. Okay, Cecilia, you raise your hand first. It's a five paragraph. It's a five paragraph. I, I just gave Alex. Yeah. Remember that five paragraph format? Yeah that we use. If you don't have a copy of it, I can give you. No, but if your story is not five paragraphs, my story still is a, it's very okay. short. It's not long. Okay, it's short, but, but you know what? You can pad things up. For instance, next week is the SOL, right? Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example. Uh, assuming you're taking English, uh, the English SOL, and they give you a topic to write on, and they say five paragraphs, and probably your idea is what you think can contain in about probably two or three paragraphs. If you write less than five paragraphs, are you following the guidelines? No. no. So what do you do? I've told you many times that when you're writing, try to pad things up. But make sure that the things you're using to pad up are related to what you're saying. 
Because the first paragraph is usually the introduction. It's like a preamble, right? Probably can start talking generally about folk tales, right? And then the one you want to talk about eventually, you see? The first paragraph is over by the time you go about that. Then probably in the next three paragraphs, you're now telling the, this thing. Then remember the fifth paragraph is the conclusion. You're winding up. Mm. So you see the actual story itself is three paragraphs. So if, if you misplace these guidelines I gave you for writing a five paragraph, I will, I will give you another one, OK? I want to rehash some of what I said. I want to wind up. Okay. We read the story. What was the title of the story we read? Edward. Uh, yeah, um, again. Mm -hmm. Huh? Chameleon <laughs> became a teacher. Yeah, how can you become a teacher? Okay. What, uh, what genre of literature is that? What subdivision of the genre of literature is that? The melody. Emanuela, I'm sorry. Folk tale. folk tale, it's a folk tale. And what's the meaning of a folk tale? I want story to see other hands. Stories that people tell from generation to generation. Yeah, stories that people tell from one generation to the other. <coughs> okay, and again, in that story, we had two animals who were the characters. Who wants to tell us who they are, what the, animal, the names of the animals? I want to see other people raise their hands. Ashton. Camillion and crocodiles. Cro Camillion and crocodiles. And we said they belong to the class of what? What is the, the, the class they belong to? In biology, we group things into, into what? Reptiles. Thank you. We call it reptilia. Okay? Reptiles. Okay? And reptiles, what are reptiles? What are some of the characteristics of a reptile? You see, we are, it's like we are also revising for uh, SOL. I'd rather see hands up than Elizabeth now. Some live in water and land. They mustn't live in water. Yeah, so, some do, but, but that's good. Yeah. They are carnivores. Some, some of them are carnivores, but not all of them. Uh -huh. Ashton? They crawl on their belly. They crawl on their belly, you know. They have four legs and. Eh? They have that bone. Thank you so much. They have that bone or vertebrate, okay? How are they different? From, they also have scales. Mm -hmm. Okay. How are they different from mammals, for instance? How are they different from mammals? A little of biology here, yeah? How are they different? Mammals are warm blooded animals. Thank you so much. Mammals are warm blooded, whereas reptiles are cold blooded. We not. Oh, very good. Give yourselves some hand here. That's very good. That's very good. And you know what? If I don't see any of you when this school is, when this week, before this week is over, I wish you success in your SOL. You too. Come up. I'm not taking any SOL. I'm done with that. <laughs> I wish you success in your SOL. And what happens is that you can now talk for the last 30 seconds with your friend because you did a wonderful job. You did a wonderful job.